And uh, this is an image of the Eidmar denarius. This is the obverse showing the head of Brutus. Compared to Caesar, he's not wearing a laurel wreath. But the most remarkable thing is that we have Brutus's portrait on this coin at all. Only two years after the scandal Caesar caused by putting his portrait on his coin. Now, he looks a bit younger than Caesar, um, which reflects uh, historical reality. Um, I think the portrait will be reasonably um, realistic because the people who would have handled these coins and who, who were they aimed at were his soldiers. And being able to recognize their leader might have been a good thing so that they knew who their allegiance uh, uh, was pledged to. And uh, we have his name as well. And then here is, is the iconic reverse images of the Pileus, the Cap of Liberty, which was worn by slaves who were set free, manumitted. So this is here the setting free of the state by the assassination of the tyrant King Caesar. And then this had happened violently, hence the two daggers. Now, the two daggers, well, they also make it clear uh, uh, that it ha happened by various people. Yeah, it was no, not only one person who did that. People have interpreted them as references to, Dio, uh, uh, to Brutus himself and to Cassius as, as the two leading conspirators. Uh, but it also might be the two references to the two uh, Brutus is doing that, the current one and then the mythical ancestor. and uh, But also having the two daggers there produces a more pleasing design. In terms of, yeah, and then we have the inscription, Eid Ma, a reference to the Ides of March in the Roman calendar, uh, referring to the day on which Caesar was assassinated. So this is very much an in-your-face coin design, which tries to make it as clear as uh, what has happened, commemorating the assassination of Caesar, complete with date. So a rallying call for the Republic.